All right. That's all set. Yeah, so before continuing the main story, I gotta complete this quest because for some reason it's in the way of the main quest. So, oh, I didn't get that. Get one collie in this during this event. Time to go. And up here, uh, and the other teleports. Even higher. Uh, I think this is part of the quest. Mm -hmm. Port Ormos is pretty great. There's so many new and interesting things, not to mention all the tasty food. Sumeru's largest commercial port sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants, and everyone seems excited just to be here. Mm, not everyone, I'm sure. Uh, how did things end up like this? All thanks to your artistic license, that's how. <sighs> I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. <sighs> but when I finished the prototype r, &R yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. <sighs> that's why we tried bringing it out for a test run today. Well... I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, what should we do? There we go. They sound distinctly less than excited. Whoa. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and he's a traveler. Who is just passing by? Is there something bothering you? Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. To start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Well, it looks kind of. Like we want. Prototype Aranara? Uh, you mean this wood curving here? It looks like a mushroom monster to Paimon. Yeah, aren't Aranara's mushroom monsters? Sounds like the name of a weapon. Uh, it doesn't look very happy. Something like oh, No, no. Uh, the prototype Aranara is something that brings joy and laughter to children. Uh, at least in theory. <laughs> Not the first negative feedback we've had. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So, for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. Uh, yeah, we could have avoided everything. He just came directly here, so they need to explain what we already know. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. Mm. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. Kind of large feet, aren't they? Or just when we put it out part. there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? No, worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. 
Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. This is not an Aranara. <laughs> no way! I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Hmm, toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tanja said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This carving makes me feel lost and confused <laughs> inside. I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. It's nothing like an R&R. &R. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. A positive review! I'm gonna say it was positive. positive yeah. yeah, so I would totally ask my dad to get it for me if it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Hmm? Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe uh, grown on them at all? I'm sorry, I should. Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondervaville yet? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra too. Who is he exactly? Uncle Tondra is a famous children's author here in Port Ormos. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. Uh, just like our prototype Haranara. Uh, they were popular. The children all knew about the stars. But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something. And suddenly the children loved every one of his oh. stories. Mm. That's right. My little Gafari loves his stories too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among children. We asked Tanja for guidance. But right after he agreed, he went off to Gondarvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. Mm. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imaginations. As you can see, this was a result. <sighs> oh, we have to do something. Oh, it's not like they can hey, try again. Since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tanjir in Gondarvaville, hmm? Uh, he doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, uh, if you could. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. Uh, and, of course, you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. They seem pretty desperate. Hmm. Let's help them out. To see the kids smile. And also for our reward. Okay, we do that so far we can get her rewards. Yay! Rewards! Hmm. Tanjo takes his son with him everywhere he goes. The two of them are very close. Maybe that's why he was able to come up with such great stories. Anyway, we're counting on you. Please find Tanja for us. Oh. Aren't you supposed to sell something? Uh, every new toy we've ever launched at Akara Crafts has always had kids from all over Port Ormos flocking here to buy it. Uh, we thought our Aranara carvings would be a big hit, too. Uh, who would have thought? There's gonna be another nation here still. They could have made a shoreline. 
get you legally already but they probably already have an idea of where each is going to go A bit far yet. So Tanger's supposed to be here in Gundarvaville looking for inspiration. But how do we find him? Should we yell his name at the top of our lungs? We aren't there yet. That's not like an idea. We might alert the force rangers. Hey buddy, what's your name? What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gundarvaville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rozzy. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gundarvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh. That voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. You heard it right here in Gardavadio? Oh, it's Kale! And a child who seems to be upset. Oh, Let's go say hi. Hi, Kale. How have you been? Huh, Paimon and Traveler. Huh, I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. You seem kind of busy, though. <laughs> um, I'll be fine. You go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. <laughs> the sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well-mannered child. You can't just leave me here. Sand? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R &R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R &R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R &R stories too? Of course. I love them! Oh, people who like r and are the best! <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow. Kali's so good with kids. Hey, Ranger, you can trust. <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? Oh, uh, we actually want to go deeper into the forest. But they'll call about the situation. Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gandarverville. I'm looking for inspiration. Uh, they don't really need to do that because even if we skip the story, they already know Kaole. It's supposed to be like the traveler Paimon had passed through there. So they have seen Arnaros. Uh, wait. When you say Tanja, do you mean THE Tanja? That's right! Uncle Tanja! So he's in the area? The 
looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? This is amazing. <sighs> Could you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razzie back to Gandavraville and then I'll be right back. I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. Maybe he's a genius, he spent a lot of time in solitary confinement, maybe he's from a wealthy family, maybe he's one of the lesser lord because I'm not his familiars. The first one. <sighs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> Wait, hold on! Razi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Tanja's your dad? As in you're Tanja's son? Uh-huh. Ah, Paimon sees. That guy at Akara Kras told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Razi. Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... <laughs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gandavraville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Razi! I thought we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. She said just after night fell. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja! Oh... Already? L like that? I thought I would have to trade for something. Hmm, so Tanja headed this way. I know this place pretty well. Follow me! Oh, oh she kind of suck at the moment because I... Don't have. Trainee Forest Ranger Kale reporting. Oh. And I'm not sure how things should keep on her. Yeah. Hi. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to go this side. Uh, let's just... Uh, uh, just mark that so it goes away. Hmm. Let's level her up. It's not always I can use those to actually level somebody. as much as I can go with her at the moment. Uh, but I'll... I'll also need those. Oh yeah, if I got time today, I'll see if I find where this is. Because I... Um, that, just for now, I don't care. Uh, I can't fix spots. No, 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 just... Just equipped. Oh, I'm doing combat. Damn. Um. Yeah, I mean, she won't be useful in a fight. Yeah, uh, no, I won't check that. Let's not. Where is it supposed to be? Oh. Mm, I'm not sure what's the path I was supposed to take there. I think I climbed when I got there. Oh, 
Shit! Rosie! Where are you, Rosie? Someone's calling for Rosie! Oh, Rosie! Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beast scare you? Did the stars guide your way? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, all thanks to their help. Thank you. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold-hearted Spino Crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. Spino Crocodile? I thought those were... Gator Raja. Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I... Uh, I love them too! Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Of course, she's a Kokiri. Hmm. Okay, then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Did he just call her old? Huh? It's... Uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. Whoa. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Uh... Hey, Kale, are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I, I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. What are those? I mean, they are giant fishes, they are Finch. Ah, excellent! Improvisation! Yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller too, you know. I basically just repeat all he said. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Pyman's not a finch! That's nothing to get excited about! Uh, let's put jokes aside and get out of business. You tell Tanger about your situation at Akara Crafts. Akara Crafts? Akara Crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. What? Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was raging in Tanger Harbor. What? Um, what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. Me neither. What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari <laughs> to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Okay, we got another fish show. And another us. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanger's son! Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanger, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something! But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Parisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjur, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest, conclusively proving that Aranara not only exist in stories, but in real life, too. What evidence? If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time! Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. Then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanja living in humble Port Ormos! Um... any papers myself, 
but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r and &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me! Wait! Not that way. Kale, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Yavidia forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. And there's nothing else going on. And there's... The secret Razi was skipping. Oh, what? Let's go save them. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Paimon's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Paimon's not sure what look with your heart means, but... Anyway, let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow. Dad never used to be like this. It's all my fault. <sighs> uh, I I'm okay. You guys go ahead. I'm just a little tired. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This line is at the beginning and also the end of Aranara's vow. I'm certain that in a hundred years' time, this line will become a famous proverb in Sumeru. Don't you think? Maybe. Hmm. Hey, look! There's a note here! Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, do I not need to learn about mushroom classification? Maybe they should. Here's another note that says, this tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R&R &R from the stories would say. I've read the stories. There's another one here! Hmm. If only I were a clever r, &R A clever r, &R -A. Is the emphasis on clever or r, &R -A? How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They look like messages left by children. Ah, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lowly tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. It didn't seem impenetrable. It could be a penetrable I castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's what? academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. Uh, shouldn't they need to be clever Aranaras inside the academia? 
An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. How did you get in there? Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it The Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. No. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh... Anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so... Oh, uh, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. Overwhelming. Underwhelming. Oh, yes. Y yes, overwhelming. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja, in R&R and the Three Little Fungus, it says that r, r are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Three Little Fungus? I think they've written it as ill little fungus. It doesn't look like three eyes. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah! Yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. That's the, what's the big difference? Did the R&R show up? It's not the r, &R. It's Kale! She's gone! Oh, Paimon's been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us she was okay after we saw the evidence of r, &R activity, she's been acting kind of strange. Isn't this supposed to be the first night? And is that true? Anyway, let's go find her! Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? <gasps> so Kale came back here alone. Is she waiting for the R and R to show up? <laughs> and I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it. I thought I would run into the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have just told the Tree Hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice my handwriting. <laughs> she doesn't have Now I've created a whole way. new problem for myself. Mm, what do I do now? Dress up as an Haranara? Oh, no, 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 that won't work. I should be writing something that an Aranara would never say, so the Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. <laughs> oh, but what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Mm. Oh, I've got it! There's no way Tanja could see this as the work of an Aranara. 
So the evidence of R and R activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of Kali's activity. But why didn't she just tell Tanjir? Perhaps that's her secret. Oh right, Kali told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does, and now she even writes it down. Kali must have her reasons. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Everybody's weird. Oh, that's okay. Looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Early next morning, Kenji exactly takes everyone back to the tree. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Uh, I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? Oh, no. Oh. Then she just gave, gave herself up. We know if she'd be to Mondstadt. No, th that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Why couldn't they? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No. No, I refuse to believe it. And this page is an art here. Falls into deep silence. <laughs> Please help a car. I can't. Can okay, we just ask him to write down a description of an Aranara so we know what to look for or whatever. What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. I believe in you. No! I can't do it. I thought that if I could find an R&R, I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. Hmm. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real R&R, right? What makes this so different? I... Uh... <sighs> Rossi, you tell them. Really? Uh, can I? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon, do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? Yeah. <sighs> I didn't want to tell anyone the secret, but it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So, I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Uh, what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then who was it? Uh, wait. You don't mean... It was me. She's not a clever Aranara. Dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories <laughs> were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. 
Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly. It's not only Rosie. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling, like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rosie so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, dedicated to my dearest Rosie. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine r, &R to look like a secret. Wait! Paimon gets it now! To sum up, all of Uncle Tanjir's fairy tales were actually stories written by Razi! Yeah. And because Razi didn't want Tanjir to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with Akara Crafts Commission! Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. And not even a funny one. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Rossi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? That's for us. You want me to help a car crafts with their carving? Well, I did mention what the r, &R look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my r, &R stories. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an r, &R carving that everyone will love. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. You... You still want me to come with you? Even after all I've done? Yeah, of course. Come on, you're the best dad ever. Huh? This is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, Kale. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt, but when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait. 
Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? And she just made a new mistake. Ah, uh, um, I just, uh, just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now, a counter craft is waiting for us. Let's go, Rosie. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, Dad. Rosie, slow down and watch your step. Looks like everyone's in the spirits. Yeah! Oh. Oh. You discover all sort of new and fascinating things to explore some arrow. So why not use an exquisitely crafted camera to record them now? Now why use the camera if your if the viewfinder has objects worth keeping a record of in view, the camera display information related to them. Adjust your photo taking distance and camera zoom to more easily spot the designated photo targets. Also this camera can only be used in summer. Mm. This could be a way for us to like customize our uh, archive. It's archive, the name too. Character archive. Archive, yeah. This could be a way for us to customize them. Like the campaign of Ron's album. So What about the quest? Is am I supposed to do something about it? Uh even shop. Oh I can build our nerves like that. Uh, okay. It's involving the other quests. Uh for no, oh, no, this was part of the other thing. Okay, so let's equip it. Uh, remember the rest bird from our Sangama Bay. It will come in here when you take pictures. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Um, um, what am I supposed to take pictures of? Huh. Hmm. Oh, there's still locked stuff. Uh, there's still one day for those to open. Uh. Ah, they are here. Hmm. Just those are remain. I kind of want to do them all at once. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I, I didn't try, but can I? Can I go for it? Ah, it's there. Ah, there are things here. Ah, there are things all around now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Still locked. Uh, go to showcase current components. I have to buy them. Hmm. Uh, let me check this one again. What? What quest? Let's check details. Lush and prosperity. Okay, so I couldn't continue this because this was in the way and i can't continue this because that is on the way uh, 
Okay, let's do part of this. Uh, I don't really want to start those because I won't be able to complete here afterwards. What can I do? Oh, straight blow, new stuff. Before creates new fungi, defeat the plant terror without being hit uh, by this thing. Uh, after it is rendered stem from exhaustion. Uh, without being hit by its special attacks when it's activated. Okay, I, I think I'll do that because I need to unlock this, this boss as well. Uh, no, maybe here would be better. Then I'll try to go up here and then there. I was right next to it and I didn't unlock that. Should probably die in a single hit or something. Regarding a deep thought added to the archive. That looks pretty. There are proper order. I need to hit those. One with the forest. Oh, 
missing me just over there. I can just leave it. Ah, interesting. Feels like part puzzle part. Yeah, uh, it's just with the result and stuff, but it feels like part puzzle and part mini quest. Uh, uh, hang on, is that part of the bat? Where uh, the elements? Uh, no, those are challenges in specific locations. Uh, those are races in specific locations. Those are bosses and... okay. Uh, Braving the Elements. In the Braving the Elements challenge, when characters on the field trigger Quicken, Aggravate, Spread, Bloom, Hyper Bloom, Burgeon or Burning. I'm not really sure what <laughs> all of those. Now, uh, reaction to unleash a shockwave uh, at the point where the reaction takes place, dealing true damage. This effect may trigger once every two seconds. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Probably need to change the party to deal with those bosses. Uh, ah, there it is. Hmm. Ah, that's a weird shape. Hey, but hang on, this this area isn't red. I can walk here. Even well, maybe this one will unlock all the way up here as well. But okay, that's what I'm going for now. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I don't. Maybe I have one. Time to go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's down here. The size of the whole... Ah, no, it's like those. Time to go. Uh, can I? Oh, again? Nice. All right, you have white light now. Just keep following this path here. That's an enemy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, 
Then you are Spectre. Yeah, as if the others weren't annoying enough. Things a single room is here. We'll first Spectre much first. Same thing. Ermi Desert Clear Water. The sword dancers may be found in the many scattered mercenary groups that hail from the desert. They will unleash the ominous spirit sealed within their weapons after taking a certain amount of damage to enter an infused form that greatly boosts their combat skills. Really, my mind is safe against the others. Clouds high! The birds come! Roof! Can't move in! I'll uproot you! I'm getting sick! Warm with the forest! Yeah, she's dying already. Wind Strider. In Shroud. Let's nip that in the butt. One with the forest. Hmm, another one. Uh, they thunder. Ours are the backbone of many scattered groups and groups. And of the dance, the real only shows the number and interprets the same thing. Time to go. Okay, right now my goal is to teleport. Time to go. Where is this? Is it underground? Oh, damn. If it's underground, it's far. It may be far from where. That's not fair. Where is that? Time to go. Hmm. Okay, that may be close enough. Get a nicer view of the desert from here. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can get there yet. I thought maybe we could. Okay, so where? Uh, it's not really a practical path, right?
Uh, probably that. Mm, no, it's kind of weird. Those things usually take me far away. Uh, oh, well, I'll be able to shoot being up there. So. Fallen leaves adorn my night. I'm they could be immune to that. Confess! Wind Strider! Oh, that was a thing one here, but that still don't really help me with that approach. Continues here. Mm. Okay, let's change party and let's go with my. I don't think they are as good as they could be. Well, Barbara will probably just be good for them. I don't have. Uh, oh, I don't think I even got the one. Uh, yeah, whatever. I never spend those. So. Okay. I don't remember if I got the one from the Serenity Pot yet. Okay. Take on Terror Storm. An involved fungus when it is hit by electro attacks and catalyzed reactions, it will accumulate activation. When it is hit by power attacks, it will lose activation progress. 
When you accumulate sufficient activation, you will enter an activated stage, uh, an activated shit plume, turns around and unleash more fearsome attacks until it becomes exhausted. Uh, so I have to activate once to get that uh, one of the challenges. When it is not activated, the chain plume turret storm can be put into a burning state by the use of pyro, which will cause it to become scorched. It will then spread spores around to create fungi in an attempt to escape this status. Mm. So, I got something here. Uh, without being hit by special attacks when it's activated, because I didn't activate it. Or was it activated once and I just didn't get hit? I'm not sure. Uh, before it creates new fungi. Well... Before it creates new fungi. I guess I'll need to pay, have to pay attention to what I'll equip on the look. So I can deal with it faster. Hmm. Oh, although it only creates fungi when it's scorched, isn't it? So if I keep it activated, it should be a harder fight. But uh, it won't wouldn't create fungi. If it inactivated after it is rendered stunned from exhaustion. Uh, without being hit by its volatile spore clouds. Okay, I didn't pay attention to that. Uh, where's this one? Mm, kind of far, but now I've got a thing there. Uh, uh, let's follow this road north. Uh, Take flight. Hey, they're all here. That's an enemy camp. Looks more like a small city. Happy to apply. Those are all signs. Didn't open that area. Hmm. Ah, here it is. Next to another. Uh, 
what are those? Maybe I should shoot them, please. Dang, bro. Let's test it. Mm, they gave us Kali right at the beginning, so we have a Dangro character that can shoot. Because there's some. No. There are some actions that, uh, that might be a bit hard for the traveler to perform. Oh, that's stamina. Oh. Why did they come up with that? Sooner? This kind of thing has been around since Howard Surge, at the very least. Time to go. supposed to take pictures of those but I'm probably gonna leave Pokemon Snap for tomorrow um, will that teleport not really be useful It's from down there. Uh, here, there seems to be a path there. There doesn't seem to be any entrance around here. Maybe here, but this seems more enclosed. Okay, let's teleport back there and see. If there's something around here. And there's a policy of whatever that I didn't even notice. Of Kazarzari. Time to go. In shroud. The grass here is flowing. So this looks like it's over our arrival. That's it. Time to go! Nearby, um, Pryo is good against. Electricity, um, so. Predator plane in the same vein as the Carolina Power Regis vines. This creature can create an organ that resembles electro cores and at its roots are coral. Uh, when this type of organ starts to shift, 
its states will change, condensing into either a waxing stamen or a winding stamen. Uh, when the two types of stamens are present at the same time, they will attract one another and then unleash a purple electrical explosion when they make contact. Destroying these stamens quickly is key to an easier battle experience. Let the show begin! Order guide you. My apologies. Embrace the ice. Okay, now it's like wow, it dropped really fast. It goes. And I won't have enough to. Ah, I don't. Did I... Oh, I got. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, but what I expected. What did I get here? I'm just mark, mark. Otherwise, they all keep. Warning me as there's something new. Well, this for one way. Axis stain me. Uh, one I didn't. Uh, that was the one from her. its face that I didn't defeat the electrical rage vine and prevent two strength from unleashing an electrical explosion. And there could be one from surviving the electrical explosion. Paralyze the electrical rage vine by attacking the car at the bottom. Uh, so to try the one from its face doesn't paralyze it like the others. But okay, I should destroy the one in the end. Okay, that, that seems pretty easier than this one. Um, I'm not sure what the Apotile Spore Cloud is, but I, I think it was a green area. It created once or twice. Uh, okay, let's just activate it. But I'll need to change characters here to her. The campaign begins. Let's see. Should have respawned by now. That was the other tree I needed. Uh, it didn't use that. It didn't create fungi. And after it was okay, it doesn't have to be why it was stunned, but after. Okay, that was quite easy, like that. Mm, yeah, I don't know how often it uses those two. If they apparently it doesn't use fungi when it's not burning but maybe i got easier for having the shogun 
Um, no, just that. Okay, let's change back to... Uh, actually, she'll be better, so I Time can to begin shoot work? up. And I'm sure she is using a decent bow. Yeah. Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, I, I'm not gonna spend now. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure this had... Um, it's always a pain to check if they respawn or not. Enemies, enemies, enemies. No, that's not it. That's it. Uh, it's back. Okay. Great. on the agenda hmm maybe I should even get that before um, finishing the fight So that thing on its face wasn't what I thought it could be. Hmm. And I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure if they respawn while this is here. Hmm. No, I'll get those later. I'm annoying a bit, but I'm not sure what's there. Uh okay, so well those there's still one day, and those there's still one day, but those are all here, so I'll, I'll complete those challenges. And I had to navigate them. <coughs> mm, mm, I, I think I better have to change to the other party now. Just because maybe I'll need something with dangerous in balls. Uh, uh, wh where is it? That? Uh, yeah, that wasn't here before. Okay, the time lapse while clearing the Grove Dash challenge and the number of adventure coins collected along the way will determine your score at the end of the challenge. Blessings of activation will sometimes appear along the challenge roads. Touch them to pull adventure coins within a certain area. Keep up! Now I'm pressing T.
Okay, next one. Hmm, I have that one. I, I, I haven't wished today, so... Nah. Hmm, there. Hmm. Oh, there's a fishing spot there. Time to go. Mm. Time to go. I follow the wind. Time to go. Well, I both burn up. Not that it makes any difference. Oh, there are so many spores.
Okay, those seems pretty easy. Maybe it should be closer. Hang on, there's... No, oh, I should have gone there first. I think that train isn't so well. Huh, that looks like a dangerous coolie. Hmm. It's right next to the other one. of a mini event. Challenge? What challenge? Was that one of those? No, just, just a map, just open the map. Ah, it was one of those events. Yeah, let's do the races, they don't do those.
But there's a devil in there. I think I'll go over there because any other time I decide to climb here, this will help me come faster. Follow the wind. Hmm. Those are new. Come on, this is it. I didn't even notice an island there. Hmm, we can see. Oh, I can go far back here. I'm a bit curious what's between here in Liyue. Yeah, I was thinking maybe there was more land over here, but no, it's just a short line straight to to Liyue. It would have made more sense for them to Take that part. Look at that. It would have made more sense for them to make that part of the of Sumeru already. Hmm. Yeah, I would have made. <laughs> I would have made a, a road from Liyue to Port Olmos and then to Port Olmos to Summer City instead of... Where, where, where am I? What? Here? Why am I here? What kind of idea is that? Mm, yeah, this path here. Open it and make a continuation all the way here. So people don't have to climb mountains to get from one lane to the other. Come on, even this weird path over here is a decent connection between two nations. And it's not like Sumero is isolated from the rest of the world. There are plenty of Sumerians, uh, Mostatter, Inazuman. I don't think I ever heard from for Liyue. But anyway, there are plenty of research researchers from the academia all around. I guess I have to fight. More. Oh, there's a different one. Oh, 
Ruin Drake Skywatch. The Ruin Machine that can absorb energy and hurl its back, hurl it back as an attack. Ruin Drake Skywatch can barely release dangerous torrent of energy and increase its own elemental resistance against previous main type of elemental damage it suffered. Under very circumstances, the cores all over its body are exposed. Uh, take this opportunity to attack those cores, and you may be able to immobilize this creature and undo its elemental resistance boost. Then, seen and seen, the range of creature activated using Electro. Then, we'll unleash a true sense pose that will be able to display the location of certain hidden things. Uh, I don't know. What did I mess with that I was supposed to show me that? Cut, you, cut. One oh. with wind and cloud! One with the forest! Cut. Just like we rehearsed! Go! Cut, you. Cut. 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 Let's nip that in the butt! In shroud! Wind strike! Oh, okay, it's not that bad. I have more parity. Really sucks at the moment. And that was easier than a recent no. Oh. Follow the wind. The other arm. <laughs> so there is also a large cave here. Kind of risk that uh, teleport being down here and climb the mountain for nothing. What is that? That's the second one I, I noticed. Well, uh, <laughs> can't see. Nothing around uh, here, and then I'll go down. Mm -hmm. I follow the wind. Taking a stroll in the middle of a downpour Whoa. certainly rouses the spirit. But it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops. Oh, it's here. Oh. 
Oh, there's one. Let me come here yeah. first. Maybe this will help. One with the forest. The thing isn't around anymore. It's just from farther. Is that just a bubble like those that have in battle? No. This channel unlocked, so I'll wait for those. Let's check. Complete. Let's check that. It's back. Uh, if it isn't, I'll just use. I applied a okay. plant based waterproofing oil to my tail. One swish, and it's dry. Okay, so I was going to uh, winning or uh, and let me check back here. When you stab me, it doesn't give me any more than that. Uh, well, I guess the less hit that stun it. Was kind of Gather. was kind of the same from uh, could could have hit both. Uh, it's either one or the other, but it doesn't tell me which switch, and I never remember which moon is which. So uh, let let me just check so I don't have to fight it more times uh, uh, okay but what is uh, okay I'll just wait a long I got strong late here so um, I suppose that is an accord. That's a car? No. Was that a car? Oh no, what I have here? Ah, for completing the. Oh no, for getting points. Okay. Okay, produce your car. Okay, that's one. No touching. 
Okay, that was it. That's what I needed to do. Yeah, okay, so just wait a little for Done. Hmm. Still got some time. But I kinda don't want to start those and leave it tomorrow. I prefer to do those all at once. Let's take a look at what will they be. They picture two different animals, it's a mirror, three animals, four animals, uh, three uh, creatures. Okay, I'm supposing those are. Uh, activate normal is harsh. Those are all uh, fungi. Animal behavior. Oh, stuff for beasts, they're eating rest. Oh, how interesting. Spinal propodies. So, Gato Raja wasn't a real name. Rich Bolan Tiger. I thought they had different names because didn't they said Nara said to us that there were tigers in the past but not nowadays. And this isn't open. And this is just go there and fight people. Uh, part 4. Oh, but it's small than place right of a common danger. Oh, okay, it's, oh, maybe this is a series of challenges like that. Okay. Uh, let me see... Image shop. Uh, I don't have those yet. Uh, complete for snapshots. Okay. But I have those. Those are far. Uh, complaining the other ones. Uh, uh. I don't know why I still get those. Hey, no. Mm, yeah, I'm just piling those up now. Ah, uh, there are those that I have, don't have yet. Yeah, I'll exchange them all eventually, but... No, more for less. But if this is the event, they decided to not make everything available. So I prefer those before. Uh, and metamorphosis of wounds. Oh, there's that as well that I. Did. Uh, but this is just for assembling them. I'll get those by taking pictures. And this that I can't complete without. Uh, I'll have to advance that. So. So tomorrow I'll continue that, the main quest, and because this doesn't matter in the end, because I still have almost a month to complete, so tomorrow I'll continue the main story just to make that location free uh, to use, and then next time I play tomorrow is uh, maybe it's Friday. But... Uh, there's that as well. Uh, but I haven't completed yet. Alright. Oh, and it's a bit, a bit earlier, just. But those Genshin videos don't have. Uh, right timing for start or age or anything. 